That's enough joking around, you guys. Let's start joking around. It's time for My Damn Channel Live. Hey there, it's me, Beth Hoyt, your host of the show you're watching right now, My Damn Channel Live. It's Wednesday, April 4th. I can prove it. Look, it's today's New York Post. It's like, um, this is like when kidnappers take a picture of their prisoner with that day's paper to prove that they're still alive. Except this is a video, and I'm not a prisoner. I can leave here whenever I want. Holy cow, you guys, we have a freaking show for you today. David Wayne is here. We're going to talk about his new movie, Wanderlust. Have you seen it? It's so good. And his My Damn Channel original series, Wayne Days. All five seasons are, of course, on our site. Get busy with that. And a very special musical number with David and Amy Miles here to close out the show. I mean, really, do you have your snacks? So in the spirit of Wayne Days, we're going to be dealing with relationship and dating issues. Now, I'm seriously not bragging here. I'm just, it's just that you're so lucky that I'm the host because I'm really good at dating and falling in love and falling out of love and just the whole cycle of a relationship. I've nailed it again and again. And I want to help you guys. So here's what I want you to do. Um, tweet me at the Beth Hoyt right now with all your dating your relationship questions. Seriously, give me the tough stuff. I am here for you now and always but specifically right now as far as love advice goes. Later in the show we're going to read as many of your tweets as possible and I'll just, I'll just fix it all. How do you mend a broken heart? Send the pieces to Beth Hoyt, let me take it from there. Okay, here's the thing. After our first show last week, some people said, funny videos, did you pick them? Here's what I've been telling you, but I know it's easy to tune out. We are premiering never-before-seen episodes from our My Damn Channel original comedy series. First up is a new series, a new series starring Steve Ranazizi of The League. Man, this couple could use my relationship advice. Enjoy the premiere of Daddy Knows Best Swim Class. Yeah, but you know, there's uh, traffic and oh. nuts. Oh, yeah, and he's really fussy, so I'm gonna put him down. Oh, no, he's I'm down. It's, so it's okay, fussy. I got him. No, I got it. Oh. Come on, Phoebe. Come on. No. All right. Hey. Okay. Yeah. This reeks like huh? cigarettes. What it smells like cigarettes? It. Smell it. What do you mean? It like reeks like cigarettes. Like, ugh. He's smoking. This is unbelievable. What is this? Oh, classic laundry mishap. Oh yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. This this looks just like thong on the no, sleeve. No, this is definitely not my thong. Oh god, it's it is wet. What? It's wet. What is that? It's more moist than it is wet. What is this? Where did you get this? Okay, you know what? Fine. You ruined the surprise. Surprise. What is it? I got you a child who goes pee pee in the potty. Our son took his first pee pee on the potty. He did it. Yay. Yeah. What? How, I don't understand. Explain to me how he that has... He took a pee pee on the potty, okay. and the potty happened to be inside of a strip club. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, what? Did you just say a strip club? Lower your voice. Our You're son kidding. is in REM sleep. You took our kid to a strip club Not today. Just a, a smoke filled... Technically speaking, okay, yes, we went to a strip okay. club. Okay. We were looking for a bathroom. That, 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 potty, potty. And I saw, it was a lot of glare, and I saw an unmarked building. I right. thought it might have been a house of worship. But it was a strip club. It said. happened yeah. to be a strip club, yes. Okay. It right. happened to be a strip okay, club. Good. So you went in, did we, we went to the bathroom, bathroom, you left? We went inside, we went to the yeah. bathroom, we walked out, got a lap yeah. dance, and we walked out. Did you just say, you just got a lap dance? Yes, we got a lap dance. You don't know what happened. They're very intimidating at these places. A gigantic black guy came over. Oh, yeah, and he put a gun to your head? He's like, hey, man, y'all gonna get a lap dance. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Even the boy. Oh wow, he just just like that. He yes. Told you you're gonna get a lap dance. I was dance. frightened for for my safety and for Jack's. So you're telling me my baby got a lap dance at a dirty, filthy strip club just covered in smoke. I don't know. I didn't see him. He was in a separate room. In a separate room. Shh. You've got to be you kidding can't me. You do it at the same time, babe. You can't make eye contact. It's a very weird thing with oh boys. My God. I, and for the record, yeah. She had nice tits. Oh, okay. But her ass was zitty. Your ass has got way better complexion. Oh wow, thank you so much, Steve. God. That's so great. That you're makes making me making a mountain. Out of a, a thong. You are. Yeah, you, no, really, but then you bring my son's jacket. It reeks like. 
No, move your foot. Move your foot, what? Steve. Lift There's your nothing foot. underneath my foot. Lift Steve. What foot? I'm move moving this, my foot. This foot. Steve. Oh, God. Destiny? Really, Steve? Destiny? You I got a, a stripper's phone number? Are you kidding me? I didn't get a stripper's me? phone number. Have you been listening at all? This thong was in his jacket. That phone number was in his jacket. Mm -hmm. I think we see what the problem is here. Yeah. You're raising like a young Tony Soprano. Did he smoke a cigarette himself? No, I'm not. Yeah, you know? I'm going to call this Destiny and I'm going to tell her A, we have her thong in case she's looking for it. Oh, and yeah. B, make sure she knows how inappropriate it is to give a phone number to yeah. a young child. She should, she should wait till at least yeah. he's 15 years old. Yeah, why don't you do that? You do that. You be busy with that. Fine. And I'll be taking him to swim class from now on. You okay? sure you want to do that? Yeah, I do. You really think you're ready to get back into a bathing suit? I shouldn't have said that. Wish I could. Just sleep out on the couch forever. forever. Okay, I like the you way know? cold leather feels yeah. on Yeah, good. It, it's just unfair, you know, because I don't know what's... What, what was the last thing you saw? Look, I'm, I'm no professional counselor, but I, I have very accurate feelings, and I have a bad feeling about that relationship. I'm not gonna write it off yet, that's just the first episode in the series, but something about their dynamic, it, it has my spidey senses just tingling. Hey, have you guys been tweeting in your relationship questions? Do it, help me help you, as Danny Glover says in Jerry Maguire. Now, you're thinking, what does she know about relationships? Fine, I'll get personal first. I'm gonna show you some guys from my past to show you how I've navigated some tough situations. Okay, this is Peter. Peter wanted to take it slow. I totally respect that. So I would date other people and then I'd check in with him and I'd tell him what he was missing. Scott, oh, Scott was such a nice guy. Um, he actually took me to his summer home in the Hamptons, super nice. I was supposed to be nannying his kids, but they were so boring. He, and he was so surprised when I just like showed up at the party. You just, you wanna keep up the spontaneity. Dave, Dave, we started dating right, yes, it was December 16th. And there's always that worry that you just got together because you don't want to be lonely over the holidays. So I wanted to test this. And on our third date, which was New Year's Eve, right at midnight, I just, I just looked him straight in the eyes and I said, do you plan on being with me every New Year's forever and ever? This is Evan. Uh, this one was serious. We would talk about marriage. And then when I met his parents, uh, I told them about this other guy that I met at the bar. I, just, I couldn't hold it in. I was so excited about it. And they were the only ones around. <laughs> oh, you guys know Alexander Skarsgård? Great actor, great boyfriend. Um, throughout our dates, I would always just be like, I'm a little monkey, pick me up. Pick me up! <laughs> so fun. So you see, know what I'm doing. Tweet me your problems. I'll solve them right here in a few minutes. But, okay, I can't fix relationships that are broken beyond repair. That seems to be the case with My Damn Channel and the estate of Donnie Hoyle. Remember that precocious little scamp, Ronnie Cox, and his U Rock at Photoshop series we premiered last week? Well, we'd hope to bring you another installment just stuffed with positivity and edutainment, but we received legal notice earlier today telling us that not only could we not show more of Ronnie, but we are compelled by legal injunction <clears throat> to show you this instead. Are we on? Yeah. I'm Robert Davis Brock White Lamunge. I'm the legal counsel representing the estate of the late Dontrell Tiberius Hoyle and the following affected parties. The Donnie Hoyle Remedial Learning Charitable Trust, the Dontrell T and Sandra P. Hoyle Exploited Go-Kart Racer Rescue, the Meglick Hair Removal Centers of Northern Kentucky LLP. This is a formal cease and desist order, which as such, having been purchased online through the Kenton County Court Express app for iOS and Android, serves as a legal temporary injunction requiring the immediate cessation of all properties related to or derivated from you rock at Photoshop, a blatant and egregious infringement of my clients you suck at Photoshop intellectual property. As observed in this comparative study by an independent and disinterested third party. In accordance with the Digital Millennium Fairness Act, 
Fairness of Speech Act of 2006. This video affidavit is to be displayed prominently among the digital assets of the offending party in a way that is readily accessible by its viewing constituency. And let me just add a personal note of disgust and vomitous incredulity at the reprehensible acts of exploiting this four-year-old child. You should be ashamed of yourselves, my damn channel. I hope you burn in an eternal furnace of unholy hell filled with bizarre and macabre torture tactics, you sick sons of bitches. Again, we're, we're really sorry that you guys have been caught in the middle of an ugly legal dispute, but we're just gonna have to let this play out in the courts and also apparently on our show. In the meantime, I'm gonna be following little Ronnie on his Twitter account, at Ronnie Shops, you should too. Uh, let's swing things back into my control. All right, so we got a ton of tweets from you guys with relationship qu problems and questions. Now, keep in mind, I'm not technically qualified to give advice to you guys, but my feeling is you don't need a degree in counseling to have earned your master's in love. It's just something I like to say. Okay, let's solve some problems. Tweet coming in. We have a tweet, tweet, tweet. Oh, there it is. It's from at Peterson Simina. Simina. Cinema. Uh, it says, my girlfriend doesn't like when I kiss her after eating peanut butter. What should I do? Um, well, okay. There's just, there's some issues here. Just, maybe you could just consider not eating of the peanut butter. I, I, I mean, I understand that that is a tough debate. I like that peanut butter as well, and I would be like, kissing peanut butter, but that's just, that's obviously the debate you're faced with, and, um, you know, that's, <laughs> you know, just give up the peanut, just give it up for the kisses. Next. From Norblog, why did you stop loving me? Um, I, I don't remember starting, but, but I do. I just like, you know, I'm sure I do. I'm sure I do. Uh, you know, maybe we could take, maybe you could email me if this is a real issue, if we have a real thing. Uh, you know, again, I'm sure we're, I'm sure we'll be great friends. Next. So from Derek Wetzel. What should I do if someone has got what I need, but she says he's just a friend? She says he's just a friend. Then, you know, you need to just keep pursuing it, because if they have what you need, like, what, I mean, they've got to just realize that you need that. You know, you got to just keep, just keep pushing it. Next. From Merkstar56, are unicorns the result of horses and narwhals dating? Does this question reflect why maybe you're single? Maybe you want to think about that. All right, that's all the time we have for comments and questions. You're welcome. Next up, we have the fastest show on the web. It's the John Friedman Internet Program with some little known insight into the origins of Sesame Street. It's the John Friedman Internet Program on your world wide web. And that's why I think this show needs an asshole living in the garbage. It's the John Friedman Internet Program on your world wide web. Work lives. We'll wrap up for the afternoon. Right after you two tell us about your big vacation in Connecticut. Oh, yeah. <laughs> First weekend away as a couple. Yeah. <laughs> Separate rooms. Oh, no. <laughs> no, actually, this is actually kind of exciting. One of the nights of the trip, we stayed in the birthplace of Hoover Cleveland. Yeah, historic. It was so interesting. Really mm -hmm. nice. Who's Hoover Cleveland? 22nd, 24th president of the United States. <laughs> oh, I, I think you mean Grover Cleveland. No, it's Hoover, I'm sure. Of it. Yeah. Ten bucks? Sure. Right. Yes. All, right. Okay. All right. I am, I am Googling Hoover Cleveland. Good. Let's see yeah. Can see, look. Grover, Grover, no. Grover, Grover, Grover. Yeah, it's, it's Grover. Oh, here's here's a Hoover right here. Oh, click on that. He All could right. be a yeah, little yeah, known yeah, yeah, president. Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. All right. Here we go. Let me clean up the oh wow, oh. that is not. It's <laughs> not. <laughs> 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 it's not. Click on this on the hills. Oh, yeah. yeah. Gross. I was just about to. It looks like a. Video is pretty crazy. Click on it. No, John. Click on it. No, it's got okay. I'll, I'll turn this off. Yeah. Oh, God. No, leave no, it. That's no, no, pretty but, gross, though. Yeah, actually. no, it is gross. Okay. But we should finish it. Cause I have never seen that before. I have. Oh, my world. Who would you take that no. out of there? No, 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 no,
This part's not so bad. Wait a minute, what's going what's going on right there? Seven arms. That's two nice. arms. That's too many arms. Is that no. a face? So who just walked in? What's he doing there? No. What's he doing right there? Is that a real person? That might not be a real person. I'm gonna turn it off. Oh no, 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 no. wait a second. This is terrible. Let it run. Let it go. Let it's it go. So sick. I hate it. Turn the sound back up. I just wanna see how it ends. Maybe it ends sweetly. I pissed. I'm sorry. I do not feel great. I noticed there was a Brazilian version on there that we didn't watch yet. Check it out. Yeah. We could just, just, yeah. just, just, just say yeah. make sure we're just, just, right. Right. Usually attractive just people. Just, 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 It's a crazy place. People aren't being very nice to each other. Sometimes you just need to stop in the name of love. Just on a relationship note, ladies, if your guy is actually unaware of traffic because he's so romantically into you, he's a bit reckless, probably won't be a good father, just get out now. Now enough for me. I am thrilled to welcome one of my favorite comics, writers, performers, it's all one guy to the show. His new movie, Wanderlust, starring Jennifer Aniston and Paul Rudd, is in theaters right now. Our My Damn Channel series with David Wayne Days just came out on DVD with seasons one through four. Ladies and gentlemen, David Wayne. Yay! David, thank you so much for being here. Good to be here. Okay, um, so we're live and everyone's, we're all really excited that you're here. Um, how are you doing today? You've been, you've been super busy this year. Um, really busy, really good year for you. Wanderlust is just, Great. I laughed a lot. So, in the when do we, are you okay? Is, yeah. Okay, great. We're, we're just, just going. Mm -hmm. When do we do this? Live. Okay. So, what? It's just as we go, like, um, okay. so, you know, uh, everyone's really excited about, are you, can you just look, are you, what's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Why, why are you, you're like being, like Stop. you have an attitude shut, right now. Shut up. Okay. Shut up. Yeah. I'm so, I'm so sorry. Yeah, no, Beth, I accept your apology. No, but that, th this is bad. I, the way, I am, first of all, you know I'm a fan of the show. I've, been, I've taped, uh, we, I taped, I taped them, mm -hmm. and then I, I don't, I'm not home at four, mm -hmm. but I taped them, mm -hmm. and then at night I watch them. Mm -hmm. And I love the show, mm -hmm. and I, that was, I'm acting like a jerk, mm -hmm. and I just, sometimes, don't you ever just feel like you wanna, I don't know how to put this. Tell me. First of all, I feel like I'm being a first class douche. 
and I'm sorry. Yeah. Like, if there was a store and they had all kinds of douche mm -hmm. available, uh, all flavors, whatever, yeah. I would be on the top shelf, first class douche, and I'm sorry. Right, yeah. And I just feel that need to just start over. You ever feel, you ever wake oh up gosh. in the morning and you have a day and you're like, I want to just start the whole day over from scratch? I, listen, I, I, well, I took your apology, you were, um, and you, I, you, you, yeah, the store the, analogy thing works, but also, um, I, I know where you're coming from, and we have, uh, can we just get like number 77 in here? We can do, let's just, let's start the day over. Oh, well, now that is a nice touch. Let's just start over. We're just going to have breakfast. This is going to the beginning of the day. And, um, and yet, we know it's not because it's 4 p.m. Eastern Time live. Yeah. This is great, Beth. Since we are oh, we got the paper. This is like a callback to your opening when we when you showed the paper. Um. This is what happens live. We also just lost this. Oh, you just reclip it. No problem. Well, while you're doing that, I'm going to tell. I'm sorry, uh, we're making it about me when David Wayne's here because I lost my mic. No, but well, I figured I could kill we have, time. We have. I could vamp while you're doing it by no, by sharing this uh, headline I just turned to in the um, big blow to Texas. So I guess Big Blow is going to be moving to Texas. He's my favorite wrestler. Oh, good. You know what else is in there? <laughs> Forget. Yeah. So you're not a morning paper kind of guy. That's no. Fun. Yes. No. I. Um, you no. like you like to look at the internet when you when you're doing your breakfast and check when your websites. I wake up in the morning. I always go first to DavidWayne.com. Oh, okay. To see if I updated it the to night see before. See if you put a new blog up. And the, the answer, mm, 99 times out of 100, is no. Oh, okay. But I just want to make sure. Are you sure. disappointed? Are you like, why didn't I do well, that? Well, because sometimes like... I blog in my sleep. <gasps> That's a fantastic thing to have happen. This if it's really a good, good. blog, it this could be really embarrassing. Good. Is it an embarrassing this blog? Is, really good. is it really good? I good. think is it's, you're going to have you... other guests on here in other days, and they're going to be like, why don't I get the, the coffee? And well, if they're as big of a douchebag as you were, maybe they will. You know what, though? Now I feel like I'm, I hope you feel like that I'm more like a red balloon. You are. Is that Sweet, a... Sweet, round, mm -hmm. nice. Absolutely. Just like floating and like full of nice memories for me. Red balloons are good things. So how about Romney, right? That's what I wanted to talk about. This with you guy, here. he's one of the candidates, and ugh, don't even get no, me started. No, but what I one one thing I do want to talk about mm. is um, when is what the new What Hot American Summer happening? Yeah, we're me and Michael Showalter are uh, writing the script to the next installment You're of the What Hot American Summer. That's uh, so exciting. Duology. Yeah, and. Um, Wanderlust is like the funniest thing I've seen in theaters. I Thank loved you. it. When you and Ken Marino write together, are you like, I'll tackle the first half, you take the second half? You know what happens? We just get into a room and sparks fly. Is that what happens? <laughs> um, no, we sit there and we can figure it out. And then, you, yeah. So does one of you actually do the typing? I want to know how it, actu I know how it say actually this, happens. Well, um, I type because he can't type very mm. well. He types slow and I type very fast. Because I'm in New York. Yeah. I, I type like this. Absolutely. And I, I mean, if you're doing like your sleep, you must be very good at it. That's right. Yeah. And then, but I'll say that for those of you maybe watching who, who haven't had a chance to see Wanderlust, this is the last week in many theaters. And so you might want to make that appointment to go tonight. But you know, it's going to be like, tomorrow. it's going to be the craziest release of a DVD. Oh my God. Insane. And it's going to, it's crazy going to, going to be a huge cult hit. Nobody will. Everyone's going to love it. No, it no, will. And there's going to be some. I would there'll be some good features on that on that DVD as well when it comes out. There are. Oh my God. There's, there's actually on the DVD. There's a, a thing called the Bizarro cut, and it's an entire version of the movie Wanderlust that hopefully you all saw in the theater, that includes no material from the theatrical release. It is 100% is new material. I'm not kidding. That's that not a is, joke. See. That's for real. This is going to be huge. It's an interesting. It's a cool DVD, and it also. In addition to that, there's a special new episode of Wayne Days where my alter ego character, David Wayne, goes into the fictional world of Wanderlust and interacts with all the characters in the movie. That's going to be on the, on the Wanderlust DVD? That's also on the Wanderlust DVD. One more question is, what would you name this puppy? It's just really important that we get this. Um, Gray Bar. Thank you. Or... I don't know if you... Well, I'll give you an R. You're having your having a new Killian start to your day. Killian Shran. That's your after breakfast. At, yeah. He's a sweet doggy. Awakened by breakfast, and all I right. think... Um, we're going to cut now. We're going to show a, a clip from Wanderlust that is in the movie, which everyone should go see in the theaters this weekend. Everyone should go. How about this? Watch the clip. If you like it, you judge then yourself. you can decide. Do you know what's happening in this clip? This I is, do. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Well, there's the whole ensemble cast is behind Tall Red playing his guitar. It's what yeah. an awesome cast. Take a look. Take a look. You guys are getting the hang of Get some callus on those hands of yours. Oh, yeah. Hey, man. Hey, man. Ah, look at this. Got an axe man in Brother G. You guys, uh, you guys like spin doctors? Ah. One, 
too. Prince is new before you. That's what I said now. Prince is, Prince is in. That's what I said now. This one wants to buy his rockets. Let's go ahead now. This one wants to buy you rockets. Said that's all fact now. A second, George. Take it. Go on, take a solo. Rip it out, man. Let it out. Let it out from your heart, not from your fingers. Wait, wait. I don't like it. I don't like it. It's a simple story. Princess. so many of my favorite actors and comedians dry humping. That's called the Makeup Mega Mix, rightfully so, and it's one of the special features on this Winnie Days DVD, which has, along with the longest running comedy series here on My Damn Channel, so much really fun stuff happening between each episode. Like, I, I felt like I was at a party when I watched it, Party with David. And we're gonna be celebrating this DVD release here in New York City at UCB East on Monday, April 30th. There's gonna be surprise guests. I mean, you know who some of David's friends are. And a live performance featuring David, Amy Miles, Michelle Federer, and Fred Armisen. So go to our Facebook page for details. And by that, I mean you should really check out the event on that page. Also, like us while you're there. Now, Daily Grace will be here tomorrow. Thank you for tweeting in and for watching the show today. We'll see you later. Also, recycle, unless no one can see you. We'll leave you with David Wayne and Amy Miles christening our studio with a live performance of Rochelle, one part of which will be in the live performance at UCB East. Now please enjoy! All right, that's it. You got the groove, man. I got the groove, my man. You are the plan of the plan. I got the groove in spades. I'm gonna make you scream with joy. When the lights go down, I will make sweet love to you. When the lights go down, 